in today's video i will be showing you how to use cake mix box to make this amazing danish butter cookies so if this is a content you like just keep on watching and make sure you learn in an empty bowl i will put two sticks of butter this is unsalted butter it could be two sticks of butter or one cup of butter so yeah i put that in an empty bowl so i'm struggling to take out the the butter from the pack then i used a whisk this is a hand whisk to just mix the butter together and here is my french vanilla cake mix box that i'll be using today is betty crocker brand so i will be pouring that into the bowl that had the butter then half cup of flour this is all purpose flour walmart brand and a quarter cup of corn starch corn starch helps to make your cookies nicely crumbly and here i am adding a half teaspoon of salt so again using my whisk i mix this together this is a little hard so it's a little bit hard to mix but just continue to play here i am adding a quarter cup of shredded coconut because i want a hint of coconut in these um, cookies so I added the coconut the shredded coconut in it so it's a vanilla coconut kind of flavor now using my spatula I tried mixing everything together now I will be adding two egg yolks if you have watched to this point and you haven't subscribed please hit the red subscribe button here I am adding a little bit of coconut emulsion and milk flavor. The milk flavor is optional, but the coconut flavor is important because it's, it, it will up the game of the taste of your coconut in these cookies. So I continue to mix. I noticed that I wasn't the whisk wasn't really doing a good job, so I decided to continue with the spatula the spatula was a lot pliable so here i added one tablespoon of water i just poured the water in the bowl that contained the egg so yeah that's what i i did now the consistency looks good enough at this point in time i was done mixing i divided the dough into two half of it i put in a clean film or in a wrap I just played around with it to create something like a round round in a round shape and I will be putting that in the refrigerator to stay for about 30 minutes I just played around with it to get the shape that I really wanted once it was done I kept that in the refrigerator and the rest of the dough I put it in a piping bag because I want to use the, I want to get the star, the star shape kind of cookies. So the rest of it was put in a piping bag. Just continue to watch as I do this. I just used a spoon to press in the dough in the piping bag because I didn't want it to pour all over the place. So I just squeeze the dough to slide down. Yep and i started to create the shapes that i wanted with my piping bag and the star tip again just continue to watch as i do this if you're here for your first time i am patty g's cakes and treats also patience kinga mochu creating contents on cakes pastries decorations and everything in between you are going to love it right here as i create content every week during this festive period i do my very best to create content twice a week but out of the ordinary i create content once a week and there's always something to learn there's always something new to learn again just continue to watch as i do this so it's just me using my my piping bag with 
a big star tip to create this shape. Remember how the Danish cookies butter looks like? That is what I was trying to create here. The different designs, the different shapes. So, and I think I was getting it right. So just continue to watch. At this point in time, I was done with the first tray and now I continue with the second tray. Once I was done, I put this in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes before setting the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was it has been in the fridge for 30 minutes and now I will be baking them for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want the top of the top to be good to be a little bit brown but the bottom to be golden brown so once that as that as the first set was baking the one that i kept in the refrigerator in the refrigerator sorry in the freezer i took it out and i was cutting it into thin and small shapes i wanted to get the 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 round shape or the round yeah the round shape of the danish cookies butter so that is what i did here and at this point in time the first set was almost ready i would say ready i took it out of the oven and i put the second set which was the round shapes just continue to watch as i am doing this so that at this point in time i was done baking all the cookies i just transferred them in a tray i let it stay a little bit to cool off and I transferred it in this tray, now in this little dish. Look at how the cookies turned out. Amazing, right? And they taste really, really good. They really taste way better than the Danish cookies butter. On the link above, I will be sharing the one I did last year. And also, if you missed watching last week's video where I showed you how to make this pie using um whole wheat please check the link above to watch and thanks so much for watching don't forget life can get bigger eat cookies to make it sweet until next week bye